yes, the shack was in Guadalupe Day, the best day of the year. I still don't get what today is about. Of course you don't. That's because Mexican tried explaining it to you and you two are both idiots. Um, okay, you tell me about it then. Okay, I will. <clears throat> Shackleton Guadalupe Day is the celebration of the town's founding after Antarctica and Mexico drifted into each other about 200 years ago. The survivors took a stand to work together to build a society and thrive together. Guadalupe comes from the name of a Mexican city, and Shackleton was a very famous Arctic explorer. Ugh, people in town partying for town's birthday. Oh! Ugh, I knew melting him was a bad idea. Now I got two idiots to parent. But that's not all. The town gets together every year and has this huge block party-like celebration. And of course, the best thing to ever exist. Oh, come on, Max. Every year, it's always such a waste of your frustration. You get everyone in town mad because you gloat. Are you kidding? I wipe the ice with the competition every year, and they just get jealous. I know I'm not the brightest, but did I miss something? It's the annual hat race! What? Every year since my senior year of high school, I've participated in one first prize in the hat race. This. This here is my prize winning sombrero. You still haven't explained it, you twit! Yeah, 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 hold it. So every race, the townsfolk get into a large hat and try to race down the big mountain that we definitely didn't steal from the Grinch. And he's won every year because he is so great. It's really true. You know, it wouldn't even bother me as much if you didn't make such a big problem about it with your enemy. Mexi, old friend. Is that you? Yep, it's about that time. I'm going to the Macho Taco stand. Anyone coming? Nah, I want to see where this goes. If it isn't my nemesis, Paul the Penguin. You bet your sweet tail feathers it's me. You're going down in this race this year. You've lost your edge. How can you even say that, you weirdo? We haven't even gotten on the mountain yet. And what makes you so sure? I've won every time for the last five years, and how does it feel to take second five years, now six years running? You better watch yourself, you good-for-nothing jerk. I've got ideas of my own. You show that guy, Max. Yeah, I know. Come on, let's get some celebratory tacos from my boss. Hey, boss. How's business? Senor Mexican. Every year, you take off for work for the stupid old hat race. I've always been good to you, and you leave me to man the restaurant on our biggest sales day of the year. Amigo, you are on my final nerve. Um, I don't even work on Saturdays. Senor Mexican, you will now be working double time for all next week. Awesome! Hey, sometimes I wish you hated your job. I want a taco. Okay, pumpkin cabeza, but no taco for the birdie. It's okay. I'm sure you want to save supplies. You're a great boss, man. I don't get him. Well, neither do I, and I am positive neither of us ever will. Get your knickknacks here. Get your knickknacks here. Get them while their owners not realize they're missing. Hi, Nina. Huh? Can't prove nothing, coppers. Oh, it's just you guys. Well, are you gonna stand there or buy something? Cause there's a standing fee. Guys, do not buy anything from her. We will have the cops on us like stink on a skunk. Hey you, shut up, would ya? Anyway, I hear you boys looking to, uh, purchase something? I don't know. What do you have? Is there something you want? Like a new cell phone? It's the new S10. Not even released. Well, then how did you- Where I get my products from is both of unimportance or any of your business. Well, I think I'm good. Just browsing. Uh-uh, no window shopping. Oh, if there is something you'd like, such as a totally legit, not a rock in a box, Nintendo Switch for that hat? Sorry, Nina. No deal. 
As tempting as that deal sounds, this is my prize sombrero. Yeah, I'll get a sombrero one way or another. I got someone on hold looking for one. For big bucks as well, I may add. We're fine. Come on, guys. Hey, Mayor Bell's making the address to the town. Oh, uh, no, not that guy. I am telling you, this town has really gone downhill since that guy had been mayor. What? No way! I love that guy! Yeah, you would. I'm an idiot and a half, and even I know that guy's a horrible choice for the mayor of anything. Gee, Mike, I think being frozen fried your brain. I couldn't understand what you said, and I thought you also said that Mayor Bill is a bad choice. <laughs> My friends, fellow citizens, welcome again to our very successful celebration! Thank you all. In exactly two hours, we will have the contestants of the annual hat race line up at the top of Hugh Mountain. I'm assuming it's going to be the same turnout as last year. And no, I did not rig it last year. Those traps for the Sombrero guy were not set up in a plot to win the money bet against him. If it were, it wasn't me! <laughs> yeah, right. Everyone can begin packing up their booths in 45 minutes and get ready for the race. Have a great day, my friends. What an awesome guy. Oh, jeez, what is wrong with you? Mexican, don't make me slap you. It's gone. What is? My hat! Well, that thing is huge! How the heck is it even possible to lose it? Exactly! Someone stole it! Now, who in Shackleton's name would want to steal that stupid hat? Anyone who wanted me to lose the race! Like Paul! Max, I'm just gonna put it out there that everyone we talked to today had it out for your stupid hat, so if anyone stole it, it could have been anyone! Even your boss! Maybe... Or maybe you stole it! Ah! Touch me! I don't care about your hat! Well, we're gonna find out who the perp is then. Mikey, I got a job for you! Okay, Mikey, your job is to walk around town wearing this shirt so everyone knows that we're in a crisis. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. You're just gonna go home, aren't you? Gee, this much? Okay, let's start with Senior Tommy. Although, I, I'm sure it was Paul. Uh-huh, I just want some lunch. Hola, amigos. Oh, it's just you, Penguino. Is that penguin in Spanish? No, it's French. Oh, okay. But, uh, uh, what do you want? Boss, my sombrero's gone missing, and Fish Taco says you might have done it. Me? A criminal? Wait, what? You got mucho nervoso to accuse me of being a thief. Wait, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> I guess it wasn't him. Ugh. Do you think so? Hey, Mayor! Oh. It's you. The sombrero guy. Yeah, hi! What could you possibly want? If you're here to sue for any reason, please go to the back of the building to talk to my consultants. Well, we're not here to sue, but we would like to know if something illegal occurred. Back! Of the building, see the consultants. Look, did you take this guy's hat or not? Wait, he lost our sombrero? Perfect. I'm betting against you. Think how mad everyone will be if you don't even show up. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not him. I knew he was too good of a guy to take it. I see this next one should be a good cop, bad cop interrogation. You probably play a great bad cop. Okay, let's do it. What don't you get about no witnesses, huh? Well, you got too many shady people in this town. What do you want? Well, I know you took the hat. You're lying. I want the truth that I want it now. You idiot. You're supposed to be the good cop. All right. I demand to know what this is about. 
Someone stole my sombrero today, and you really wanted it when we spoke. <gasps> I'm truly appalled. You would accuse me of such a thing. I am a legitimate business gnome, and I never stole a thing in my life. Oh, well, okay. I believe you. You really are a naive moron, aren't you? Now, if you'll excuse me, my business partner was just on the phone with me before all of you horrible people walked in. I must tend to his uh, responsibilities. Super legit. Only 15 minutes until the race. I'm going up to that mountain. I just know Paul's up there. About to use my lucky hat to win the race. I'm going after him. Yeah, you know, just don't you get violent. I am not paying your bail. Ma, what are you doing? I'm recuperating. You're watching cartoons. <laughs> That's what you wanted me to do at Cypress Grove. Besides, I like cartoons. Cartoons don't lie. Sup? Sup? Ma, stop it. Is there something I can get you from the kitchen? T would be fine. T doesn't lie. <laughs> oh, Ma, come on. Are you saying that you never stretched the truth with me? Those were harmless lies. So all first grade girls wear men's shoes? Ugh. Is this the episode where Dorothy lies to Sophia? Yep. Mikey! You're wearing Max's hat! And? What? Why? Where? Where was it? Why, why didn't you call us? He left in the bathroom, and when I went to go grab the phone, I just was hypnotized by the Golden Girls. Come on! The race is about to start! Mexiquin is gonna take on Paul! What? A turry! Stop playing dumb, Paul! You took my hat! You moron! You finally blown a gasket in that head of yours, haven't you? This is clearly my racing hat! It's a top hat for crying out loud! I didn't say you were gonna use it! You're just trying to push first place out of the way so your sorry second place tail can win! Yeah, well, I didn't. But now that you're out of the way... Victory is mine! <laughs> Attention, Attention racers! Get in starting, starting positions. positions! The, the race, race will begin in 30, 30 seconds. seconds. See you on the podium, Mexiquin. Oh wait, no I won't. Not even at the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 9, 8. Come on, we're not gonna make it! I've got an idea. 5. Four. Mexico in. Huh? Mikey? Two. One. Go! Catch! Ah! What the? Fancy seeing you here. I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got a race to win. No! Ah! Thanks for helping me out, guys. It means a lot that you guys did this for me. Of course, Mex. Yeah, no, no problem, you crazy little birdie. You cool, man. I, I love you, man. Oh, the, the end? <laughs> yeah, the end, everybody. <laughs> That's all, you peoples. 